Okay, in this video we'll talk about the Gamester G7 controller again, but this time we will use it with the Chrono Zen without downgrading the firmware. We are using it on the latest firmware. This is a bit different, so people might like the downgrade version more. You can watch both, uh, both methods and then you can decide for yourself. First of all, let's plug the controller in our PC and have a look at are we on the latest firmware. So, controller is plugged in the PC, I'm turning it on, and now I am going to start the Nexus app. There it is. So, connector, uh, controller is connected, we are going to press the firmware button and it says you are already on the latest firmware. The latest firmware is version 6.5.4. We press OK and we can close this one. Now, we are going to open Zen Studio. So Zen Studio has started. Please go directly to the device more uh, to the device tab as I did. Get your controller, plug it in. Why are we in Zen Studio? Why are we in the device tab? Because I want you to understand and see what is actually going on when we have updated our controller and why it's working and how to make it work. So when we have updated our controller and we plug it, we plug in the controller like this in the console or in the PC like now. The controller is presenting itself as the Xbox One controller, and this is called X input mode. In this mode, somehow the Chrono Zen doesn't detect the controller, but we can change this mode because the, the controller now has two modes. The first one, if you if you connect like this, X input mode, and if you press the special button sequence, we go into the direct mode, and then it will work. So we are in this device tab because I want to show you that the button press we have to do is time sensitive and if we don't do it right, it will not work. To make sure it's working, if you're on PC, if you're on Xbox, first you just unplug everything, right? So on Xbox and PC, make sure you are unplugged. Just plug in the top board on PC or on Xbox. For my case, I will plug in the right part too so we can see Zen Studio. After you did your bypass, you are going to plug in the controller in port A3 as always. If you are not on the PS5, then just in the A1 port. So if we plug in the controller, you can see the light is on and it's now in the X input mode as I said and now it's not detected. We can check the Gamepad monitor, a gamepad tester here, nothing is detected, amazing. So what we're going to do now, we are going to do now, what we're going to do now is we are going to check, we are going to change the detection method or the presenting method. So we are going to press the Xbox guide button and the share button at the same time for three seconds. After three seconds, the detection at uh, the um, the X input mode will change to direct input mode and if you don't let go the buttons, this is why I am here right now to show you visually, it will go back to the X input mode and then the Chrono Zen will not detect it anymore. If it doesn't work on the first time, please try it again because sometimes even on me it is not working as it should. So we are going to press now both buttons, three seconds and then we will see what's happening here. So let's do it. One, two, three, releasing. You can see after three seconds, we are now in a different mode, the direct input mode. And now it's connecting. Let's have a look at the gamepad tester. It's detecting. So now the controller is working on the Zen. We can go now to tools, device monitor, and it's working here too. Sometimes it can even detect, but the buttons are not um, recognizing. So you can see it sometimes. If you're on PC, it says connected, but if you go to device monitor, somehow it's not working still. So let's have a look at what's happening if we don't release it in time. So let's say, let's plug it off and then just plug it back, right? So now it should work. Let's have a look here, device monitor. Nope, it's dead. Okay, go back and now let's hold the buttons, let's say longer than three seconds. One, two, three, four. Now nothing is happening at all. This happens sometimes, I don't know why. If this happens, plug off everything 
and slide it in again. But if you do it in the first, if you do it right in the first time, you will not need this. I'm just doing this to show you what to do when you have problems. So you don't come back again and then you waste your own time because I didn't do a good video, right? So let's press it again. One, two, three, four, five. So we press now for five seconds and you saw it was detected and then it changed back the mode again. So now if we go to Gamepad Tester, it will not work. So this is why I said you have to be careful and you have to be time sensitive. So let's time it perfectly again. Three seconds, maybe 3.5 seconds. Depends on how fast you count. I count maybe a bit faster. So let's try it again. One, two, three. Really easy. And now, have a look. Hey, it's working. Now, we are going to check the last motor. It's working too. So now you know how it works, how to use the uh, G7 is the latest firmware on the Zen. Now you can decide for yourself, do you want to do this changing um, input every time you want to play? If yes, do this. If you don't want to do it, just downgrade as shown in the other video and you can just directly plug and play your controller.